I would hope that most people that do this sort of thing are not looking to make money off of it. New information tonight about the East Tennessee Lions Eye Bank. It follows a story we reported earlier this month about an internal fight over pay for the executive director at that nonprofit. The charity is dedicated to helping people improve their eyesight through donated corneas. Valerie Stewart is the longtime leader of that life changing group. Federal records show the nonprofit paid her $445,000 in 2019. For the year, it's almost 20% of the total revenue for that charity. The board told 10 News that compensation package is reasonable and well earned. But critics, including many of you, raised concerns, so we dug deeper. 10 News investigative reporter Grace King sorted through dozens of financial disclosures, uncovering new twists in this story. The IRS documents make it clear Valerie Stewart is the highest compensated nonprofit iBank leader, not just in Tennessee, but in the country. And most of the other executives don't come close. She has to cross every T and dot every I, and she's the one that they're coming to talk to. Executive Director Valerie Stewart has helped the East Tennessee Lions Eye Bank grow for more than two decades. One of the main visions of the Lions Club is, well, vision. And the Eye Bank is just the ultimate extension of that. The nonprofit says it helps restore sight to more than 400 people each year through organ donation. She has been doing that for 25 years, passing all the different inspections, all the different audits, meeting the people where they are. She's a very Christian woman. She is a woman of fine integrity. Vivian Scheip served on the local iBank board for about three years. She says she saw the nonprofit change lives. It's some of the most rewarding work that you can do. Rewarding and maybe lucrative, according to Lions Club member Patrick Peebley. Not even just profiting, just exorbitantly profiting. The iBank is independent from Lions Club International, although it shares the Lions name as a tribute to how it started. And most of its current board members are Lions. That's why Peebly is so concerned. To me, that just does not fit in with how the Lions Club has been set up, how we pride ourselves on the fact that almost all the money that comes in goes right back out. 19 years of IRS paperwork shows a long history of the iBank paying one out of every $5 it makes to compensate the executive director. In 2001, Stewart earned roughly $89,000. In 2019, she made 445,000. I believe that she is worth every penny they're paying her. I absolutely do. The more I looked at it, just the more it, it galled me. Tiffany Mensch with the Alliance for Better Nonprofits says compensation can vary. It's important that people understand that nonprofits are businesses. She says one thing to consider is how much similar organizations pay. It's really important just to do your research on, on what that sort of fair compensation looks like. So we looked at the other programs accredited by the iBank Association of America. There are 45 accredited iBank organizations that specialize in eyes instead of all organ transplants. Three of them file IRS Form 990s through larger organizations. The remaining 42 disclosures reveal the top iBank executives make an average of $154,000 a year, or about a third of what Valerie Stewart made in 2019. Eight of the 42 leaders aren't paid at all. I think people get involved with nonprofit work because they want to make a difference. IRS filings from the 2019 fiscal year show the iBank for site restoration in New York City made about $10.1 million. The executive director was paid about $259,000 in total compensation. Those same records show the Central Ohio Lions iBank made about $1.7 million that year. That executive director made $147,000. That's just going to depend on the organization and their scope. Stewart emailed us a statement on behalf of the East Tennessee Lions Eye Bank. It says, considering her years of service and success, her compensation is reasonable and well-earned. When we shared our findings about how it compares to the rest of the country, Stewart texted us a statement attributed to the board president. It said the organization had previously provided a statement to WBIR and that it has policies and procedures to ensure its activities are compliant with state and federal laws. But emails obtained by 10 News elaborate on why the pay is so high. In response to questions from a now former board member about her pay, 
Valerie Stewart wrote in an April 26 email that some EBAA iBanks have a CEO, COO, CFO, and other positions. However, she's the only person filling these positions to save money. According to the IRS documents, the East Tennessee Lions Eye Bank spends about 58% of its total revenue on salaries, other compensation, and employee benefits. Our investigation found the average is about 37%. Under Stewart's reasoning, the average salary for an executive director having just those responsibilities would be more than $565,000 not a single nonprofit iBank reported an executive compensation that high to the IRS. It's very sickening to me. And, you know, this is not just people donating money. This is, this is people donating their loved one's eyes. Almost all of the iBank's money comes from its tissue processing and cornea transplant programs, so it doesn't rely on monetary donations. Still, as a nonprofit organization, the national group Charity Watch told me higher pay needs to be, quote, rigorously substantiated and justified. Grace King on the story. We want to remind you how our reporting started. iBank board member Brandon Johnson raised questions about the salary and bonuses for Valerie Stewart. After those questions, the board moved to vote him off earlier this summer, and he reached out to our investigative team. One other note here, during our reporting, we learned a different board member had earlier questioned that pay package, and they too were voted off the board.